Hey you all, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to look into your Sun, Moon and as well rising sign for the week 18th of January up until the 24th of January 2021 and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading you can go to my website which link you are going to find into the description down below there at the very front page you are going to see the full list of my services as well their prices and depending on your budget and uh, your needs you can purchase whatever service suits you best. Upon purchase within 24 hours I'm going to contact you via email so make sure you do check your spam and junk folder as well because sometimes the email provider likes to throw my messages in those folders. And also if you are interested in Tarot, you want to learn to read Tarot I'm offering as well tarot classes in case you want to check them out. Uh, they are under the tarot classes section. So with that being said, guys, um, I hope you do enjoy the show. All right, so we have Aquarius Sun, Moon, and as well rising. Uh, with the general tarot reading for the upcoming week. And just bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards. And we're going to jump uh, right into it. Right, so the first one we do have for Aquarius, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Hangman, uh, followed by the Queen of Swords. Afterwards, that is to be the Judgment. And the last one for Aquarius, we do have the Five of Cups. Those, uh, those five cards. Like that. All right. Well, it seems that the start of the week here, uh, things are going to be brought to your concern, uh, things that you cannot any longer uh, escape from. You know, these were a boiling problems, these were a boiling circumstances, if you will, that you cannot any longer neglect, but at the end of the day, you will have to deal with them. And now there is a, a way through, and that will be displayed going further into the week. But this card, it could refer to, uh, it will refer to one of the two things, either career or either relationship. It will refer to the uncertainty and insecurity of your working place. You may be concerned of that you are to lose a client. You may be concerned of that, you know, you may you lose your job even. You may be concerned that your partner, for example, is cheating on you or that you're never going to find love, etc. Whatever uh, fears you do have, this is what this subject is going to be. That, 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 that will be the concern that you will have to deal with at the start of this week. Or you're gonna start. You you're gonna have to start dealing with because it's not gonna happen overnight at the start of this week, and you cannot avoid it any longer. You cannot pretend that it is not existing. You cannot occupy your mind with something else. It just is gonna be there, and if you try to neglect it, it's going to twist and tangle your mind. So uh, it will be uh, impossible or unavoidable, if you will, to address the issues that are pretty much stopping you from being 100% you or 100% productive or straight away, if you will, a happy. And right after that Aquarius, we do have the hangman and that is the period from the start of the week up until the middle of the week. And um, the hangman does refers to the uh, to that you are going to start calming yourself down. You know, at the start of the week, when you, when you do uh, address those uh, concerns and those fears, you may end up in some kind of a hyper state, panic even. It could start resides within you, kind of like wanting to to get them out of the way. You know, deal with them as soon as possible, whatever fears you do have, uh, and let it be done with it. But the more, you know, the situation resides, the more calm you are going to become because the hangman is going to give you a very different perspective on the things. 
Uh, first of all, uh, the, uh, the, or rather like the first impression that you are going to have, it is something like that was meant to be because that is a test I have to go through, right? And uh, as it is a test that I have to go through, is simultaneously a, a breakthrough as well. But these things, these uh, fears that you do have, they are to be resolved. There, there, there is nowhere there to go. And the only solution or rather like the only unfoldment possible here is to pretty much make your life or yourself or whatever you are afraid of the situation with that better because it cannot literally get any worse. And so with the hangman, the other realization that is going to come to your mind at that point, it is at all about time. Okay, that within certain situations, may that be in your marriage, relationship, your intimate life, career, dealing with clients or whatever, everything has its moment. And uh, you trying to push the issue forward when the moment is not right, uh, it's just going to make the things worse. And for that reason, that, that is for that reason, you are going to end up being calm right at that particular point from the uh, start to the middle of the week, knowing that the time had not came yet. But as you do, uh, as you do wait one by one, the problems in their resolutions or the, um, the way how to tackle with whatever you are afraid of uh, is going to appear or rather like is going to manifest itself to you. And then you can uh, undertake the, uh, the situation. So, uh, how can I say, Hangman, it's a very, it's a positive card, first of all. Yeah, it does say that currently the struggles that you do have and trying to uh, fix them is futile, but also says that those struggles are going to be fixed on their own accord, or so it will seem. Um, that is because when the time comes right, you are already going to be prepared uh, from any kind of direction. Uh, and this is why it's going to seem that they are solving themselves on their own accord. But the preparation actually did the heavy lifting or is about to do the heavy lifting for you. And that preparation, the big portion or almost the entire portion of it is you recognizing what you are afraid of. What is the thing that petrifies you that you don't want to act about? And right after that, we do have the Queen of Swords very valuable ally that comes in. It could be someone you already know. It could be someone that is just showing up into your life. But this person, they really know how to push issues through or rather like how to resolve issues. Very emancipated type of individuals who is always in tune with everything that is going on around. It's forewarned for anything that is about to happen. It has that keen sense of how things are going to unfold. And that's why it's a very, it's a very valuable ally because either through its guidance and advice of that person, you will be able to push your things through or that person will be able to push your things through. For example, you are afraid that your marriage is falling apart and you can't do anything about by yourself, that is. That is your couple of therapists who is capable to push your problems through and resolve them. That this is how it may unfold. The realization of that you cannot do anything about it on your own is coming with the hangman here, but in the same time, the calmness that somebody else can and that somebody else comes at the mid of the week. Very possible way how this can resolve. Your contract is falling apart. You are afraid that you're going to lose a sponsorship or straight away a job. And here you do have an advisor or somebody that steps for you or simply tells you what to do in order not to lose your contract, your job, etc., etc. <laughs> and right after the um, infiltration, infiltration or the influence of this uh, interception of this person here, Queen of, Sword, Queen of Swords, into your life, Aquarius, we do have the judgment which marks the, um, the period from the middle of the week after that person steps in up until the end of the week. And the judgment here points that when that person either gives you the advice or they pretty much start dealing with your issues and with your problems, everything fix itself on its own accord, seemingly on its own accord. Here with the judgment, all pieces of the puzzle pretty much 
snaps together. You now have the option available you needed beforehand, which you did not have either because you hadn't recognized what you are afraid of, what are the issues out there for one or another reason, okay? And by not addressing those issues, you could not uh, attract that individual queen of swords to help you with them. Once again, either through advice or direct intervention here. And with the judgment, uh, it, it's pretty much this um, future that you did not have before in front of yourself is now open. That is like the finish line. You, or rather like the um, the line before the finish line, the track before the li the finish line that it is open for you to uh, to walk through or to traverse, if I may say it that way. Uh, judgment also may refer, because that is a general reading, I don't like to address health, but judgment also may refer to um, pregnancy, okay? And in case you are having troubles to conceive, that could be your physician, uh, giving you a routine, you know, some kind of a treatment that finally you are to be able to, okay? That, that is another way how these cards could unfold as well for you and for your, uh, for your situation. With the judgment, it's pretty much a from the middle of the week moving forward in regards to whatever you are afraid of. Uh, it's pretty much a resolution is there and that is your best and only option available that will make sense at that particular point and you are going to feel compelled to uh, to take it. And right after you take it, we do have the Five of Cups, which is at the end of uh, the uh, week. And that is uh, the um, reality of uh, the situation right after you do take that option available, seeing that Things are not ideal. They cannot be ideal. That in, in the engineering world, ideal things are referred as perpetuum mobile, and that is something impossible to achieve. So that is the understanding that things are, are not ideal. They never going to be ideal. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, whatever disappointments you have to face along the way, you know, whatever even losses, which are, by the way, are going to be partial losses if it, if it goes that far, they are necessary so you can walk that line I, I told you about when we had the judgment here. There will be, whenever you do receive that advice from the Queen of Swords or whatever the Queen of Swords starts to um, help you, there will be some things that you will have to sacrifice. This, this uh, help doesn't come without any conditions. I didn't want it to say for free, but without any conditions. You definitely will have to change something with yourself, with, with your life and so on and so forth. And that is here at the end of the week, the disappointment or the, the, the fear of loss that whatever you had to change or you had to abandon in generally, it's, it's no longer there. But like I said, that will be just a temporary disappointment or a partial loss. And in any case, it should not be any kind of prerequisite, nor a reason, if you will, to abandon your original direction that you have chose to take here with the cooperation of the Queen of Swords and the judgment, the reassurance, that, that is what you got to do. This is how your puzzle and this is how the, the, the full picture finally makes sense. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your a weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we shall see each other next time. Until then. Bye.